that I just can't hide it. Boom. I'm about to lose control and I think I like it. I'm so excited that I just can't hide it. And I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I want you to watch this. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, it's Monday and I am so excited. Welcome to Bella's Bargains. My name is Amy. If this is your first time here, hey. And um, today is an extra special day because today is Monday and it starts an entire week, seven days straight of Dollar Tree hauls. Mm, so excited. Let's have a moment. Mm, okay. Anyway, so today starts it. I had such a phenomenal haul on Friday. I went to three stores in the greater Phoenix area and boop, mind blowing the things I found that were on my wish list that I hadn't found and like, oh my gosh. So I'm super excited to start sharing all those things with you today. Um, okay, if this is your first time here, again, I'm gonna say, hey, welcome. If you wanna know all about this channel, just click down below to the description box and it's gonna tell you all about my four uploads that I do every week. Totally Easy Tuesday, Themed Thursdays, Foodie Fridays, and Shopping Saturdays. And the one thing you need to know about my channel is it is all Dollar Tree and only Dollar Tree. Nothing else. No, 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 no. Only Dollar Tree. So, I say we just dive right in for the number one out of seven. Number one out of seven hauls. Six of which will be bonus. I always do a haul on Saturday, but you're going to get six extra bonus hauls this week. So, stay tuned and let's watch what we got going on. I'm gonna start, start off with Easter because I have a few Easter things and um, I'm pretty much done picking up Easter stuff, but I did find a few things and so I'm gonna share those with you because then I gotta dive right into Easter DIYs. So I need some of these things from Easter DIYs. Okay, this is so cute. How cute is this? This is a felt, I wanna say it's like a, it's a basket because there's only one handle. It's a felt basket and obviously it's the truck and it says Happy Easter. They also had it in pink. I really liked the blue. I wasn't, that pink was almost, it was almost a too neon of a pink for me. So I picked up the blue. I'm not exactly sure yet what I'm going to do with it, but I just think it's super cute. And I will definitely, even if I did nothing but throw some, um, ta -ta 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 -ta. look, even if I just threw some greenery in it and made it like a planter thing, maybe not. I don't know. Anyway, I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. Fill it with eggs, candy. I don't know super cute maybe i'll just deconstruct it and take the truck off of the foam purse and have it as a standalone actually that's probably what i'm gonna do that is what i'm gonna why i'm now i know that's always how this happens i have to separate while i'm doing this too because it's just gonna get so confusing all right um randomly i picked up some easter bags now i want you guys to think outside the box i picked these up not because i need any easter bags but purely because i love the paper and i will probably be using this on a diy and i want you guys to remember this we don't have to go to hobby lobby to buy craft paper sometimes they do sell it at dollar tree not very often but sometimes they do but this is perfectly good strong paper what i do love about this that's going to be slightly different than some of the scrapbook paper is the um, thickness of it. So it's actually gonna Mod Podge really well. You know how thinner papers, it's hard because they get really crinkly. Although sometimes I really like that. But there's a trick, did you know there's a trick you can use with Mod Podge and an iron? Anyway, I'll show you that one someday. Okay, so I bought these just for the paper, not the bag, just the paper. Although the handles are very cute, I'll probably use them for something else. Okay, so there's that. Saw this and I've never seen this before. I mm, I don't even think it's cute, I'm gonna be honest. But this is kind of a big word. I thought I brought my tape measure over. This is sort of a big piece. It's like a burlap um, bag. It is 14 inches long and it's the one side has this print and the other side is blank. So there's two things about this. This amazing amount of um, this blank burlap basically that I get on the back side so I can deconstruct this I really am not super fond of this at all but I was like I don't know I'm gonna see I might be able to do something with it but also on the inside there's some filler so we get some filler we get a blank piece and then we get something we get to try and fix on the front <laughs> it's a threefer a threefer <laughs> I don't even know okay but it's something I've never seen before and I love to show you guys something when it comes in and it's new and I'm like wh where and when and I've never seen it so anyway, okay, so there's that. By the way, FYI, 
Um, my headband today, guess where I got it? Guess, guess, what? Hmm? Huh? Guess how much I spent for it? Yeah, a dollar, people, a dollar. Isn't it super cute? They sell these at the Dollar Tree all the time. They have like purple, pink, and blue, I think. And there's like wire, by the way, FYI, in the little bow part. See that? Oh my gosh, I just thought of something. How? I, oh my gosh, you guys. I'm gonna have to buy some and deconstruct because doesn't that look like bunny ears? Mm. Oh, I could make the cutest little bunny ears out of this headband. Okay, well, that's for another, another day. Okay, anyway, but I want to show you. Dollar Tree headband. You know I love those. Let's move on. How about some egg stickers, which I think are very beautiful. I love these. They're sort of the foil, um, and I just love all the patterns on them. Super great for making a miniature for a DIY, uh, for the tear trays. I'm sorry, for the tear trays, which, by the way, I have, for instance, sorry, I'm going to reach. I have these. I bought these candles at the Dollar Tree, oh, a few months ago. And I think I got a blue and a yellow, and I just loved the shape of them. They're small, and they just had, they had candles in them, which I've already burned up. But look, I can take this and put a couple of these stickers on it, and suddenly it's a very cute little decoration. And then I can add some flowers in it, and I've got a little miniature vase for my tear tray. That's actually, um, I have it over in my pile to do my tear tray with. That's probably what I'll do with it. The greatest thing about that, I throw the stickers on it, you guys, and it's part of my Easter tier tray. I removed the sticker after Easter and now it gets to stay on there just for a spring tier tray. You follow where I'm going? Okay, good. Glad we all got that. How about these garlands, which I am in love with? So super easy, right? It's just the jute cord, which we all have, and their little, um, their little ugh, carrots. But I don't have to put it together. It's already done for me. So I bought two of them. I love these. And I will probably add to this and embellish it slightly more, slightly more. Embellish it a little bit more. That doesn't even sound right. I'm not sure how I would say that. Anyway, so um, yeah, six feet. I'm loving the garlands. I think it's sweet. And again, like, because if we tried to put those carrots on a garland, you, it would be pretty intense to try and get something right through the middle of them. So it's done for us. I like that. I like that a lot. Never seen this one before. Hmm? Okay, so I'm going to point something out here to you guys. This, I don't think this is an incredibly gorgeous sign. I like the idea of it, obviously. Um, but I am go definitely going to upscale this. And I'm going to show you something that is part of later on in my decorations of stuff that I purchased. But I'm going to show you right now. They have these crosses on a base. Love that. And look, if I take this off and put that on there, this upscales this tremendously. If I add some lilies to the bottom of it and perhaps a purple, don a purple robe on here or make a little crown out of um, some grapevine wreath and I will have a very beautiful Easter sign. I'm going to be doing that. But I had not seen this before and so I was super excited when I saw that. So there you go. And it already says blessed on it. It's just, it's full of great stuff. Okay, um, we're still on Easter. I found the powder candy um, carrots. And I really like these. Obviously, I'm going to use them for DIY. And I'm probably just going to throw the candy out. But there are eight little carrots in here. And so that's a really great number. And soup, they're a little bit smaller than the other ones. So perfect for a tear tray. I bought it the wind up chick just for my tear tray. Nothing else, just for a little chicky on my tear tray. How about some happy Easter candy? Uh, again, guess what? I just bought this for a tear tray. So one of the things that I've purchased before is the dom the wood domino in the, in the toy section. It's the wood domino game. Dominoes made out of little wood pieces. So it's approximately this size. So if I take any of these covers on these little chocolates, and um, well, I will just, the ones that say milk chocolate down here, I won't put that on there, but to decoupage them and on the top. Decoupage, okay. Mod Podgies onto some of those domino pieces, perfect little things for a tear tray. So I'm gonna be doing that with those. Like outside the box, guys, just cause, and then I'll throw the chocolate away. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe not, I don't know, we'll see, okay. Eraser before I think last week I hauled or maybe just on Saturday I hauled the erase oh, crayons. I'm sorry. They were little bunnies that were crayons and these are the erasers. How stinking adorable 
Now imagine if I took some jute twine and put some of these bunnies on it and made a little miniature garland for a tear tray. Seeing it? Are you? Because I am, and that's what I'm doing with them, okay? Uh, pom-pom kits. So they have, these are really fun. They have these little pom-pom kits for making a bunny. And right there, you can see that it's that bunny right there. Super cute, right size, a couple of things. I can absolutely make some of these bunnies to put on a tear tray. I can absolutely use some of the pom-poms as tails for other bunnies. So there's just an endless amount of things that I can do with this stuff in here. I will probably make some bunnies and then use some of it for other supplies. But what I like is that, see, there's the little eyes in there too, which doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to use them all for here. I might save some, you know, save the eyes and use them for something else. Am I rambling? You, I feel like I'm rambling to you guys. By the way, for those of you who watch my channel regularly, yes, I am still slightly sick. I still have this leftover cough. I did call the doctor this morning. Um, so I was thinking this weekend, maybe I had walking pneumonia. I don't think that this morning, but I'm still, the cough won't go away and the runny nose sort of. Okay. Not that you need to hear my health update today, but it is Monday. <laughs> okay. These are the treat sacks. I love these. And I'm going to tell you right now, I am going to make a garland out of these, but what I want you guys to think about, and I'm going to open one up because I just want to show you something. Ta -ta -ta. I think I'm going to open it up. Inside of these, by the way, there are four, right? Is it four? Yeah, four. Okay. So I want you to notice something. One side has a, bun a printed bunny on it, and the other side has what? Absolutely nothing. And so the idea on these is that you, you tie it like this so that you get ears. I'm not doing this very well. So that you get ears and then you stuff it out, right? Okay, cute. But here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to deconstruct. I'm actually going to take scissors and I'm going to do it right now for you. Just so you guys can see if I can get my scissors. Hold on. Just kitchen shears, but those will work. So all I'm going to do is basically deconstruct this right here. And I'm just going to cut basically along the seam of these bags, I think. I probably should have just like taken it apart with, you know, um, my seam ripper, but I didn't, that's okay. So I just wanna show you guys this, because I think this is really cool, and it's so, it's again, like giving you guys options of how to use some of these things as to, as to just what it says printed on, on the packaging. Okay, so now basically I'm separating the front from the back, and the front, is going to end up with still this cute little bunny face inside the package they give you twine so i'm going to do just exactly what it's supposed to do and twine it right here not right now but you guys are getting the idea right i'm going to twine it so i have my bunny ears and i still have a bunny face i'm probably going to fray this a little bit i don't know if you guys know what that means but just basically where i'm pulling the things some of the stuff. See how cute that is now? Gives it a cute little finish. Um, I'll do that all the way around this. And I can trim it up if I need to. Okay, see where I'm going? How cute is that? Now this can go on a garland, but what do I still have left? Backside, what? And this is cut perfectly. I mean, obviously I'll cut off all the stuff left over from the seam, but this is cut perfectly for a garland. And all I have to do is bend it over and glue it and my string will feed right through here and I can do whatever. I can put, I could write spring on it. I could put some other bunnies. I could include it with this and make a super cute garland. I mean, there's all kinds of things, okay? So FYI, there's your little treat bags. That's what I'm gonna do with them. And it's gonna work great. So hope somebody likes that idea. All right, I can't put all this stuff together away while I'm talking to you guys. It's going to go on too long. Let's continue with Easter. Um, found a couple of Easter picks, which I just love these. little. They look like sour cherry candies with sugar on them and lemon drops with sugar on them. Anyway, I just really liked them. i do not not really a big fan of the sparkly leaves, but I thought I will probably pull those up and use those for Christmas. So these are in their, their Easter section. That's funny. This one is Glitter Berries Easter section. Now this one does not say, but they're the same thing, you guys. Can you see that? So one's red and one's, 
Or one's pink and one's yellow. I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Okay, that's what I picked them up for. Um, I found the large, the large felt bunny garlands. There's eight pieces in here. Everybody's DIYing with these. Everybody's using them for all kinds of things. They're super cute as a garland. I happen to think they'll just be super cute if I deconstruct them out of the garland and like put a couple of them together with a stand behind them. I just think they'll be super cute standing, you know, somewhere or just doing like a cute little bunny. I thought about doing like a bunny fan with them. Anyway, I will DIY something with these, but this is such a great buy. Eight of their, they have them on a garland, but you get eight felt bunnies and eight tails. In eight different colors, by the way. Can you see that? That's like so cool. I'm loving that. Okay, there you go. Then I found the egg carton with the speckled eggs. I had already hauled the one with the gold eggs, but I hadn't seen the speckled before, and so I picked this up. This is another DIY, probably for a tear tray. So have you ever seen when they do gardening and they'll take real eggshells in an egg carton and they'll put a little dirt in them and they'll start a plant growing in the eggshells. It's supposed to be a super easy way and a great way to um, start plants. Okay, it's also a really cute idea for a DIY. So I'm gonna try and um, get these open somehow. And I was like thinking like, how am I gonna do that? So I'm not really sure. I might just have to like, you know, cut into them in the top with scissors and sort of break it. So it looks broken, I'm not sure. And then to put um, probably some moss inside and a stem of something growing out of it. So it looks like, like something like this. Like it looks like something's growing out of it. Much like if you were starting your own garden. Okay, I hope somebody can understand what I'm saying there. <laughs> if not, I can't help you. Let's go on to greenery though because I just picked this up. Oh my gosh, they're, oh, love these. So these are their potted lavender, and does this one say potted lavender? Yeah, potted, they're both potted lavender. One's in burlap, and one is in a little potted plant, or pot. So love, these are so perfect for a tiered tray. How about we just go right back to my little stickers too, by the way, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Carry it over from Easter into spring. I'm, I'm just in love with these. I also probably am gonna add a couple of eggs into this before I put it on my tear tray. I mean, I'm thinking that in my head. If that's really what happens, I never know. But they're just so adorable. I love their lavender. I think they do such a great job. And speaking of lavender, let's just get into it because it's out. Their lavender is out. You can almost smell it, huh? Oops, there's a pick in there that's not lavender, which I've already hauled those, so. Look at these. Oh my gosh. They're so incredible. Just to do a glass vase filled with these would be incredible. They are so beautiful. I love their lavender. I mean, I can almost smell it. So they have, um, I'm gonna show you, they have three different colors. Well, I found three. So there's a white, and you can see the very top on it. It's got a little lavender in it. Then there's like the light lavender and the darker, darker lavender. I'm just obsessed. If you like these and you see them, you better buy them because they won't last. Um, I mean, they're coming out. I didn't see them in every store because, you know, the stores will bring their spring and stuff out at different times. It's weird. I, they obviously don't have a corporate schedule for this stuff because it just comes out, I think, when they get their trucks. I'm not sure. But anyway, if you see this, you need to pick it up because it's beautiful and it's amazing and I'm gonna use it in a thousand different DIYs. The other thing that's out right now, which I also am in love with, is their picks that are the house plants. Can you see these? I have to find one of every one that I purchased just so you guys have an idea of everything that they have going on at the Dollar Tree right now. What? Okay. These, they're calling them greenery bouquets. So I called them faux house plants. Again, this is just, these are amazing to use in DIYs. Look at that ivy. I mean, this, look, I'm loving the colors of these, the coloring on these. Obviously, they're all green, but just amazing. 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 And if you find them, you better pick them up. You want to put them in a basket or in a vase or something. They, incredible as I'm, oh my gosh. By the way, I digress just for a second. Guess what started today? My backyard. They're here. 
Can you hear the backup? Beep, beep, beep. They're starting in my backyard. So I'm so excited. Another reason I was excited today on my song. I'm so excited that I just can't. Hey, by the way, who sang that? So I'm so excited about that because as soon as my backyard gets done, then everything that's in the house that has to go out in the backyard will move. And then I can start decorating my house, which I've now lived in for five months. It's been so frustrating not being able to decorate because I love to decorate. But where I was going with that is I love to use a good houseplant pick when I'm doing decorating. Like, and I'm going to do this whole wall of crates. So instead of doing a wall unit, I'm just filling up a rather large wall with crates in all different ways, all different shapes and sizes. And it's sort of going to become my, y'all, my wall unit where I put all my tchotchke stuff and this kind of stuff would go in there, you know, I think you know what I'm saying. I already showed you the crosses, but since they're right here, I'm going to go back to them. These are so incredibly cool, you guys. If you find them, pick them up. What I love is, you. again, I always talk about like how many things do you get in there. So everybody's going to be deconstructing these. I know they are. Because you get a cross, and they're screwed together, which I think is like amazing. They have little screws in them. You get a wood cross. So you get a galvanized cross, a wood cross. You get a stand. We love stands which is, um, ah, can you see it? It's screwed onto there. These are amazing. I will be using one on that sign. I've already said that. I just think they're so cool, so adorable. One of the things that I am going to try and do, and I should probably do it on a video, is to use vinegar to darken some of my galvanized. You know, vinegar will, I think, you know, if you, anyway, but I'll do a thing and maybe I'll put that on a video for you guys. Okay, in the garden section, I really only picked up these two things, which is the little miniatures. So my pom-pom package, where did it go? My make your, the make the bunnies. Oh, right here. <coughs> Sorry, guys. <coughs> so one of the things I want to do with this for a tear tray is the little bunny, like falling into the pot, like he's digging in and have a carrot coming out of it for a little Easter tear tray thing. So the miniature is really cute for that. I also picked up the little starter pots and these are so small and cute. There's 12 pots in here, really? Wow, 12 pots. That's a lot, isn't that? But I wanna, I'm gonna um, Mod Podge, Decopodge, Decopodge, at least one. So these are so cute and so stinking small for a tear tray. And because they're sort of just a fake cardboard, they're gonna Mod Podge really well. So what I did was I purchased some beautiful, them their spring in their spring collection napkins to, and I did two different ones. This one's a bigger pattern, so I don't think it'll work on these, but this one will. And um, just to Mod Podge on here and do some cute little spring things for a tear tray using these little pots and some of the napkins. So I just showed you I purchased some napkins for that for my podging and um because it's cheaper than paper obviously because you get like this one has 14 napkins in it so that's a lot and this one has 28 napkins in it so you get a lot of material to work with for DIYing with these okay uh let's see let's go right into crafter square so I'm gonna pick up two things and I want to tell you guys about this if you if you watch my channel and you want to follow along with some of my DIYs one of the things I want to tell you is that I have not gotten into a lot of painting on my DIYs because I'd get everything at the Dollar Tree. I have acrylic paints from the Dollar Tree, but I just haven't gotten into those yet. But one of the things that I love is that they'll do things like this, where they sell just, there's six colors in here and you get sort of a sampling of everything. What I like about that is it's little space to sort of collect some colors. Um, and so often, when you're using acrylics, especially acrylics mix with water really well. And so you can almost stain water, watercolor or stain with them. Like I could take one of the wood crates and this blue and add a little bit of water and I would just get this really beautiful sort of blue wash as opposed to whitewash, right? But it's whitewash with a little bit of color on some of the wood, wood craft things that they sell. So if you're out there and you really want to get into crafting, I would encourage you when you see something like this, pick it up. Because then you don't have to hold on to 15 bottles of acrylic paints or go buy Waverly or go buy whatever. You can have a sampling of some paint coloring. And I rarely do hardcore paint coverage. I just don't. And the reason for that is I don't want to. I don't want to have a million cans of paints. And I don't, I just don't want to. And I feel like it's just, I always laugh when crafters, 
you know, they'll go by, they'll go by like, they made these really beautiful galvanized um, tins that say flowers or something on them. They're really cool, right? And all the DIY, a lot of the DIY uh, wires out there, they're painting them white and redoing them. And I'm like, but if it was white, you would make it faux galvanized. So I really do like to leave things in their natural state and just do some enhancing. And so that's why, the, like this, then I can whitewash with a color and just give something a little pop and I don't have to have a whole bunch of paint. So, um, and this, well, I don't remember why I'm still holding this. I guess no reason. All right. But I also picked up another thing of their chalk paint. They do have this there on a regular basis. And so I would encourage you to pick up their chalkboard paint um, because it's it's just, it's nice, it's great, it's easy, and it really is chalkboard paint. So you paint something with it, you can then write on it with chalkboard markers or with chalk or whatever, and it works great. So, and it's also just a black paint. So if you want some paint something black. Okay, I digress. Um, do you guys remember, I think it was, was it Saturday's haul? Mm, maybe it was two hauls ago. And I hauled a template that I said, this would be so cute just to put on a piece of white felt and, and do it in different colors and it would look like a quilt. Then I go into the Dollar Tree and what I see? What? I think a white felt. I'm like, well, that was meant to be. So I picked this up because you know I'm going to be doing that. How cute will that little template thing look? on here and it's gonna look like a quilt. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then you'll know when I do the DIY, how about that? <laughs> okay, I think I have a few more snakes. I love these snakes. And um, so I was like, these are just really cool. Um, just forget the head and the tail. This right here is so cool. And so I wanna do something with them I'm um, not sure like on what or for what yet. Like, is it going to be around a vase? Is it going to be something like that? And so I bought them just for that. And then on the tails, I thought, God, those almost look like carrots. <laughs> I was like, maybe I should just cut them off and put a topper on them. And they would be a cute, just little wood carrot. Do you see that? have no idea what I would do with these guys though. With their heads. I don't know. Yeah. But anyway. All right. Uh, natural wood wreath. I love these. The wood blend wreath. Um... For spring, I really like the natural wreath color, the natural wood wreath color. So I picked this up for that. Uh, yeah, just because I'm gonna need it. I'm out, so I get some of those. Some more of the wood, um, the hanging woods. Every time I see this, and tell me if I'm the only one. Every time I see these, I think of like a giant rosary. I'm not Catholic, but I'm like, oh, I just want to make a huge giant rosary. But, but we all, we keep miniaturizing everything for tear trays. But anyway, so I, I just love this and I do want to make a, um, a, like a miniature sort of what, I don't know what we call these things with a tassel on the end, not a rosary. Like I keep seeing just feels like it's like a giant rosary cross. Uh, so there got those a couple of little chests. So this is going to sound really weird, but I, Picked up the, um, and I think it was just in my last haul, the Dr. Seuss little books that are erasers. And so I was like, I just want to do a little miniature bookshelf. And so I was looking at these um, little boxes. Okay, they're little boxes. And I was like, well, if I deconstructed them and glued them together, what do I have? It looks like a bookcase to me. Anybody? I mean, obviously I have to remove all of the, the hardware and then glue them together. So that's what I got those for. Just a little click. This is, these things are great because it can also be used as the base for something. Um, and I don't remember, I bought this for something specific. Don't ask me now, right now, what it was for, but I did. Mm -hmm. And the round box, because let's go back to decoupaging just for a second, because how beautiful would this box be? decoupaged with a beautiful pattern like this and it becomes a very cute little spring um decorative piece some reindeer moss just because i pick up reindeer moss a lot because you go through it pretty quickly when you start using it some pom-poms again i wanted the white pom-poms for lots of reasons but a lot of bunny stuff and um and garland stuff making garlands uh let's see I got one 
succulent. <laughs> uh, and I had some crazy idea about Easter in Arizona, and that's what started this. But I would probably separate the succulent from the pot and just use the little pot. I have a lot of little pots. It's the thing right now for me, I think. I'm not sure. I don't know. I uh, also got some ribbon. They had lots of burlap ribbon with some different um, patterns on it, like zigzag and whatnot. I'm really a polka dot girl, and I like the polka dot. And I want to use these for a DIY with an Easter egg, the big, ugly, glittery, wrapped Easter eggs that I usually wrap in twine. And I thought, wrap them in twine and then use these as decoration on the egg, to, you know, like it's a decorated egg. And also, it's burlap ribbon with the polka dots. So farmhouse, country, country, farm. Yeah. Okay. All right, I love this. Home Sweet Home Tear Tray, for sure. Absolutely says it, absolutely everywhere. And it's got the little light in it. So you paint it up, decorate. This is a perfect example of, you guys, where did they go? Where'd my paints go that I showed ya? Because this is a perfect example of what those paints would be perfect for. Because, and that's, maybe I'll, I'll do that so you guys can see it. It's taking those paints, the little paints that are, it's like right here. Why can't I find it? You know why? Because everything's just piling up in front of me right now. <laughs> and then I can't find it till I go to put... Where did my paints go? So the thing I just showed you full of paints. This is the perfect kind of thing to water down those paints and just whitewash this with the color, with whatever color you want. This is a ex perfect example. I will do it. I'll do a DIY with it so you guys can see it because that's a perfect reason to pick up some of those little paints. And you can still add color to things without just drowning everything and just recovering everything in paint. Okay, uh, one little bucket. There's a hole in my bucket, dear Liza, dear Liza. There's a hole in my bucket, dear Liza. There's a hole. And that will get you going and you're probably gonna have to finish the entire song now, right? Mm -hmm. So um, I got this for an Easter DIY just because I just love the miniatureness of, again, a miniature bucket. I'm on a thing right now. I found one and I, I don't have a K. Don't know. K -k -k Katie, my beautiful Katie. You're the only K -k -k girl that I adore. And when the moon shines over the cow shed, I'll be waiting at the K -k -k kitchen door. Anybody know that one? That's an oldie too. So, okay, so I'm thinking, like, I'm looking at it and going, like, can I sand off the K? What can I do? Because um, I kind of like this portion up here. So, I'm not sure. I'm going to actually try and just do a little sanding and see if I can get that down. But I also thought, if I could sand it enough right here, I could maybe make this look like an R. Because I'm an R. So, I don't know. We'll see. But if not, guess what? There's that side. Ah, okay. So, because I didn't, obviously didn't find my initials. And still in the crafter's corner, like, whoa, I'm so excited. I love a good ribbed ribbon. And I picked up one in every color. So, some of these are really springing, screaming spring. Some are screaming fall. Some are just plain screaming funeral. I don't know. I mean, it's, you know, that's just a black one. But... We all know right now in farmhouse, everybody's using this black and cream, black and cream, black and cream. So anyway, so I got one of every color just to include in my stash of ribbons from the Dollar Tree for my DIYs. So if you follow me and you want to do some of my crafts, you know, just slowly, I would always suggest just slowly add to your craft supply so that you can, you know, you could follow along and do some. Oh, here's my cup today. Ready? I am a ray of sunshine yeah this was a gift i'll shout out one more time to talisha who gave this to me for christmas anyway i totally love it okay i think we're done with crafts we're out of the craft zone so let's go right into like um i don't know party little uh, it's like little girl things i guess so this is a mermaid pom-pom clip they call it all right I'm going to tell you right now, deconstructing this, because what I saw was a purple bunny tail. I want a purple bunny tail. I'm going to take one of those wood bunnies and give him a purple bunny tail. And then I saw this headband. And what did I see? I see a psychedelic 
bunny tail. Two of them, no less. And I was like, yes. Then, then on the end cap by the register, I got this one. I was like, oh my, look at that bunny tail. And I'm like, I just want to put a package of Skittles on my bunny and this is his tail, right? How stinking cute. So anyway, I'm gonna do, so I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but it's just gonna be really cute. So that was my little bunny tail idea. I think it's adorable. And then this, I'm gonna keep the tail on this cause I will do some little nautical um, thing with seashells or whatever. And I'm gonna have this little mermaid tail for that. Okay, party section. Um, right now they have out all of their, um, what's it called? Um, masquerade, uh, New Orleans. What are they doing in New Orleans? Oh my gosh. I can't remember. Mardi Gras, Mardi Gras, Mardi Gras, Mardi Gras. All their Mardi Gras stuff is out? Okay. So I picked up some Mardi Gras. Here's what I'm going to tell you. I only, I mean, I just picked up some masks. So let me just show you really quickly these masks. I love this one with the roses. Um, just very bright and gold and whatever, sort of an animal one. And this blue is so vibrant. I love it. So why did I buy masks? Not, I'm not having a masquerade party. I'm not having a, a, what are they called? I just said it. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah. One of those parties. I'm not having that, but I love to decorate skulls in how ha at Halloween time. And these are amazing to put on skulls. And so I purchased them to put into my Halloween stuff so that I can decorate some skulls with these. Like you can cut them in half and do half on a skull and all these embellishments and they just really, really, really cool. So that's what I got these for, okay? Yeah, because I'm not having a Mardi Gras party. Not a Mardi Gras. Um, I found this photo props for grad and so I'm like, is that leftover from last year or are they already starting to put out the grad stuff? Don't know, don't care. I bought it. I am. Fly I already bought my tickets to fly back to Iowa for my oldest, the one who just turned 18, he graduates in May. And so this is super easy to throw into my suitcase and to take some fun photos because if you watch my channel, you know I was scrapbooking his life. And so the very last portion of his, which is two books, because there were so many pictures, will be um, pictures from his graduation. And so I just thought this will be so much fun just to get all these quirky family photos at his graduation for that book. And so for a dollar, you guys, this is just too cute. Too cute. The other thing that these are really great for, by the way, if you're somebody that um, is on social media a lot and that's how you maybe uh, communicate sometimes with family far away, some fun things like if you had a grandchild that was graduating, take some photos of this of yourself that say, you know, um, you, well, no, let's see, way to go, like way to go and blah, blah, blah. And then send them, tag them in a photo that says, congratulations on your graduation. Okay. That was a lot, but an idea. Okay. Um, and I know I've talked to you guys about the wreath that I'm making for my one grandson. I want to make him a Christmas wreath. That's all, um, the, um, what are they called? You know, Superman, Spider-Man, Batman, all those, those guys. Anyway, I can't. So I've been collecting stuff for that. Well, then I saw this little number, which is a photo frame, right? They did, hi, hey, I should totally take a picture of this for my, okay, anyway. But I saw this and I was like, totally cutting it apart. I'm gonna take out that, wow, that pow, this Superman hand. How about this in the center of my wreath, that, that crash, help, whatever. You see where I'm going? It's just like, it's so superhero. And I'm like, this is gonna be so cool to, to take apart and cut apart and put on that Christmas wreath that I'm making. Yeah. That's gonna be a great video. But that's not until, you know, like later on this fall. But I get these ideas and I just start collecting stuff for it so I can make it all happen when it's time. Okay, which is also what this is for. So these were the photo props. And again, see like zap, pow, boom, splat. All for that breathe, which is gonna be so cool. I'm not even sure there's gonna be any greenery in it because I have so much stuff, but it's gonna, it's, yeah, anyway, it'll just be really cool. Um, so the idea is I'm, take, I'm making him a Christmas wreath that is superheroes because then he can put a Christmas wreath in his room and it's not all Christmas, you know, yeah, okay. I hope everybody's understanding that. All right, last thing is toys. Oh my gosh, this video, I seven days of this, you guys. 
I, I know I keep saying I'm done and I am done now. I'm totally done because as soon as I get done here today, I'm going to be putting together my dinosaur packages. So the last two things that I have found were these. And these are Jurassic World Sun Catchers, which are going in their Jurassic World packages. These are the two youngest grandsons that are getting a Jurassic World package because there's been so much Jurassic World stuff at Dollar Tree. I will do a short film of putting that together. I won't add it onto this video because it's too long, but I will add it onto another video at some point. And then these, check these out. 3D sticker story. 3D glasses with 3D stickers. Ah, pochicha. Like what? Oh my gosh. So super excited about that. I will probably do a, um, I'll probably just tack this on to like one of my crafting videos, my little box that I'm, well, two boxes. I'll just put one together on film for you guys. So that was the Jurassic World. Okay, very last thing is books. I, I can't stop with the books. All right, this is Captain Marvel, by the way. And in the new movie, Captain Marvel's a girl, right? I think that's what it is, yeah. Okay, this is so cool. Look at that, Captain Marvel. Being a superhero takes more than power, is what it says on the back. I'm gonna take the price tag off right here for you so that I can show you that this was 16, can you guys see it there? 16.99, can you, I don't know if you guys did. Anyway, it says 16.99. This is do one brave thing every day and it's basically a journal. I love this, okay, now I'm, let's be honest. So this is a journal, this is why it's at the Dollar Tree, I'm sure, um, because this is 2019 Marvel. It says right there, 2019 Marvel, all right? So Captain Marvel's symbol is a big part of her identity. Draw a symbol of your own identity, who you are to others. Okay, and that's on January 1st. That's the little project for January 1st. And then January 2nd, what song makes you feel confident? Write about it here. So this was something that was sold probably for at Christmas time last year, and it was a, a journal for, you know, for the year. Okay. But January 1st is going to come around again, right? And why do you have to start the journal on January 1st? I'm probably going to give this to my granddaughter. And she can start it any day of the year and then just journal in it for a full year. Um, but it's so cool. Mother's Day is celebrated around this time, right about a time, a time your mom or parent was brave. It's one of those super positive, like, I don't know. It's just a really, it's a journal. And it's just so cool, you guys. $16.99 and it was a dollar, people. A dollar! And Captain Marvel is a girl! Ma, Come on, we love that. All right, how about Ripley's Believe It or Not? It was a bestseller, FYI. Apparently not anymore, now it's at the Dollar Tree. So, and it was underneath this bestseller thing, it says $4.97. And then behind the sticker back here, it says five seventy nine. dollars Can you see that? And then behind that, oh no, not even behind that sticker. Above that, it says sixteen ninety nine. Boy, this thing's gone through a lot of price changes. I think this is. I think that's like, isn't that Walmart stickers? That green? I don't know, because it's not blue. That'd be Kmart. Blue that special. So this is so cool. This is unbelievable stories for guys. I'm like, oh, that's so cool. Okay, so um, right now, let's see. The sauna sportsman who cooked himself. In 2010, the sauna world championships in Finland came to an inev inevitable end. As the competition heated up, the field was thinned to, thinned to two sauna athletes. Anyway, okay. As temperatures, as this sauna soared to 230, and he began to show signs of... Okay, whatever. Okay, it's Ripley's Believe It or Not stories for guys. From fast cars to Mars to Hollywood stars... This eye-opening collection of bizarre tales and bombshell facts and stats will make your jaw drop, guaranteed to dumbfound the guy who thinks he knows everything. Guess who I have? The guy who thinks he knows everything. And he does this thing, he's always like, oh. so last night, okay, this is, this is the kind of thing he does. Last night we were watching um, uh, Oak Island, what's... Uh, I don't remember, can't remember the full name of it. You know, the Oak Island one where they're looking for the treasure. So we're sitting, we're lying in bed watching it, you know, blah, blah, blah. And he goes, yeah, hey, I Googled it. They found it. I went, what? And he goes, yeah. And I go, okay, wait, wait. 
are you are you telling me the truth or is this one of your made up ones to get me? And he goes, I go, you didn't Google it, did you? He goes, no. But he does this to me all the time. Like he'll say something and he will tell people things like it is so factual and people believe him, but it's not. Here's the thing. I'm going to give him ammo because he'll read in this and he'll actually have things that will actually be facts that sound far-fetched. So this is a perfect little book for him. $16.99 retail. And then he went to $5.79, then $4.79, and Amy got it for how much? One dollar, people. One dollar. I'm loving this. So his birthday happens to be on Wednesday. And so this is going to be his little birth, one of his birthday gifts. I'm going to write inside of it, too. I'm going to be like, for the man full of more tall tales than, than who's the tall tale guy? Anyway. Okay. And then this is something called Inner Ramblings. It's a journal. This is really cool book as well. And this was $12.99. $12.99. And I got it for a dollar. So this is so really beautiful inside, you guys. I'm so loving this. So let's see, just as a, a little, and, um, and it's got, this is the actual cover of it. So I feel like it has a composition book feel to it, right? It says free space right there. So like you can doodle on the cover of it, whatever. Um, and then and then as you open it up, it says this journal belongs to. The graphics in this thing are so cool. Now, I mean, I remind you guys of something I always tell you. When you do look at books like this, also look at them like, can I deconstruct that and maybe frame something out of there? So just for instance, like this cool little page with that little graphic is super cute. Um, anyway, this one, like here it says, dear, date, dear so-and-so, I miss you so much. Um, so I just met, and it's blank, don't quote me on this, but my first impression is, it's that kind of journal. Um, here's the receipt from the last thing I purchased. As you can see, I really broke the bank. I've also included an illustration of said purchase as well as the drawing of the tulip because I'm not that into material possessions. Okay. Um, just It's so cool, you guys. This is just a really, really cool journal for a young girl. I'm like, just, I mean, the graphics in this thing are to die for. And it was a dollar. A dollar. I love that it's that composition look to it, too. Okay. So, hey, just tell me for a dollar. And the last book that I have is for me. Mm, I bought myself a gift. And it was a whole dollar. One whole dollar. And this is, um, it's <laughs> social media stardom. Selfie made. I'm like, oh my God, are you kidding me? So, this is, <laughs> first of all, the book was... The book was, drum roll please, somebody give me a drum roll. Oh, the sticker doesn't want to come off quite easily. Uh, so this book was $19.99, mm -hmm. and I got it for a dollar. So in the back it says, how do I make it on social media? What is my story and who is my audience? Who are you people? Mm. What content should I post to achieve hashtag success? How do I go viral or how long will it take me to get noticed? So this is... Selfie made a one of a kind guide to creating a digital identity. So I'm like, well, listen, here I am taking all this time to be on YouTube. I think I could probably just read a little bit about this book and maybe really learn something about social media and really marketing myself because you guys, I am really too old to have learned all this from a very young age. For me, social media was something that you backed into, right? as opposed to the generation now who that's all they've ever known and they know how to use it so well. Making a TikTok video for me is so hard. Not that I've practiced much at it, but anyway. All right, so that's it. That was my haul. Oh my gosh, and it went on way longer than I thought it was going to. You guys, I got six more days of these. Ah, if you're still here, if you're still here, let's see, give me a cell phone emoji. I know there's one, isn't there? There's a cell phone emoji. I think there is. Yeah, there has to be. Give me a cell phone emoji. If not, say you're an idiot, Amy. <laughs> okay. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me here for this extra special bonus haul. This is day one of seven days straight of DT hauls. Oh, my goodness. All right, you guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Have a great day, great week, a great life. If there's something that you saw that you're going to be looking for, let me know what your wish list is. I'm curious what you guys see that you, then you want to find. All right. Are you ready? Are you ready? We will see you tomorrow for two things. 
day two of seven days straight of DT, and also Totally Easy Tuesday. Are you guys ready? Because here, here comes the music. Bye, guys. Bye.